Hilda Fanshawe has gotten away with murder. And we're responsible for that. They're being forced to use, call it, 17 seasons worth of crime busting knowledge to reverse engineer a motive for someone who's being accused of a murder, rightly accused of a murder. Each of the main characters kind of having to come up against their own moral code. And so finally, that's happening with Julia and William. We need to be able to live with ourselves. And for that to happen, she cannot go unpunished. They just are just sickened with what they've had to do. That's kind of interesting as a performer who's done a character for a long time to all of a sudden have to do something like that. It's like, whoo. One of you all did this. I think we were two and a half days on the boat. You do get a bit stir crazy. We were out there all day, morning until we absolutely had to come back. And the boat itself was beautifully restored. I've always wanted Bracken Reed and Margaret to solve the mystery together. What a woman. <laughs> it's good to have you back. Oh, strange as it may seem, I am glad to be back. Violet. She's definitely staying on, on the good side this year, so I don't think the fans have too much to worry about in terms of the sneakiness that we've seen in the past. The door didn't close by itself. Hey! It was funny doing the, the freezer scene because they had all this fake icicles all over my face and frostbite kind of thing. And having that stuff on your face made me feel like I was in trouble and cold, just psychologically. It was sort of bizarre. That's how Higgins has come up with something. Crab freeze, I guess, bad for lack of a better word. But it's sort of nice to be able to play as an actor to dabble in that a little bit. Shoot the stupid one. A little insult to injury, the stupid one. You don't even know me. Murdoch Mysteries. All new episode every Saturday at 7 on Ovation.